everybody. So in the midst of all the trade action today in the NHL, we also got some signing news. And it is big, big signing news involving the Dallas Stars and RFA defenseman Miro Haskinen. Dallas have re-signed their stud 21-year-old top defenseman to an eight-year contract worth $8.45 million per season, locking up Haskinen to be the franchise cornerstone on the back end for the foreseeable future. Before we get into this, I just ask you to please hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. It helps the channel so, so much and is greatly appreciated. But let's get into it here, looking at Miro Haskinen. New contract with the Dallas Stars. He is a 21-year-old left-shot defenseman who was taken third overall in the 2017 NHL Draft. He's already played three seasons in the NHL and has proven to be the up-and-coming number one guy for the Dallas Stars. So what do they do? They lock him up. Eight-year deal, the maximum allowed for $8.45 million per season. Um, pretty standard number there for a franchise defenseman. And this is obviously a big, big deal for the Dallas Stars. However, if I were a Dallas fan, I would be very, very happy. Yes, it's a huge contract. Yes, $8.45 per year is a lot of money. But Miro Haskinen, I think, is a future Norris Trophy winning defenseman. He did have a down year this past season, but I would not be worried. He's shown how good he can be, especially his run in the 2020 playoffs. And I would be really, really excited about this if I was Dallas. You have, this guy is already your number one defenseman at 21 years old. And now you have locked him up for the foreseeable future. I really do like the move. If we look at what Haskinen has done in his rookie season with Dallas, he played all 82 games and had 33 points but was a minus 14. Then in 2019-2020, he played 68 games for the Dallas Stars. Obviously, that season got cut short because of COVID. He had 8 goals, 27 assists, and a career-high 35 points all while being a plus 14 as well. And then this past year was kind of a down year in 55 games for the Stars. He had 8 goals, 19 assists for 27 points, which in a minus 9, which I guess if he had played, you know, 70 games points-wise, it wouldn't have been that big of a down year. But he wasn't the, the standout this season that he was in 2020 with Dallas. However, when you look at what he was able to do in the 2020 playoffs, which really Dallas would not have made the Stanley Cup Finals without him. In 27 games played in the 2020 playoffs, he had six goals, 20 assists for 26 points and was a plus eight. He was almost a point per game player and a plus player as a defenseman in the 2020 playoffs. And that is a showing of what Miro Haskinen I think is going to be on a regular basis as he develops and as he gets older in the NHL. Was he as good this season? No, but I think this was just a one-off down year this year for Haskinen. It was kind of a down year for the Dallas Stars as a whole, um, it's not anything that you can blame solely on Haskin, and the team as a whole had a bit of a down year this year, but he is still just 21 years old. This guy is a bona fide number one defenseman, franchise defenseman at 21 years old. Most defensemen aren't even in the NHL at 21 years old. This guy already has three seasons of experience and is your number one guy. Think about what Miro Haskinen is going to be when he's 25, 26, 27 years old. When he is getting into the prime of his career, I absolutely think that he can be a Norris Trophy winning defenseman. Um, I was really, really high on this guy last season. I loved seeing him in the playoffs and what he was able to do in the playoffs in 2020. Obviously, 
you know, he did have that, you know, a little bit of a down year along with most of the Dallas Stars this past season. But still, this is a guy that in an 82-game season is going to give you 60-plus points, I think. Now, he's developed to that point where he's going to give you 60-plus points and you know, be a legitimate number one franchise defenseman. And those guys are hard to come by in the NHL. And for Dallas, you know, they drafted him third overall. When you have a guy like that, you have got to lock him up. And that is what Dallas has done here with Haskin. And the deal is huge, but I absolutely love it because I very much believe in Miro Haskin and what he's going to be at the NHL level. And I hope all of you Dallas Stars fans believe in him as well because I have absolutely loved what I've seen so far. And again, he's still so young. He has so much improvement left to go, so much development left to go. This is a guy who could easily be a top five defenseman in the NHL and I think will be a Norris Trophy finalist and maybe a Norris Trophy winner at some point in his career as the best defenseman in the league. So I have really, really high hopes for Haskinen in Dallas. I love this deal. I love that they locked him up. And I really do think that he is going to be a franchise cornerstone defenseman that you can build an entire decor and an entire team around, you know, Colorado has Kale McCarr, Tampa Bay has Victor Hedman, Boston has Charlie McAvoy, Miro Haskinen is that guy for the Dallas Stars. And um, I am really, really excited to see what he looks like going forward, what he is able to do in his career. I believe in him. I have super high hopes, and I think he is going to live up to every penny of this contract. And uh, I am really, really excited to see what he's able to do going forward. But he's an absolute stud already. And he already, and he also has room to grow and still develop at just 21 years old. So I am a huge fan of this contract. Dallas locks up their top defenseman eight years, 8.45 million per, and he will be the franchise cornerstone back there. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon merchandise store, donation link, and channel memberships are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.